Hello uh, grade 11, happy Friday to you. What we have here is the last procedure with the reference parameter exercise that we will do here. And it's this very interesting and quite difficult one actually. What you have to do is write a procedure that's going to receive a string and return a string at the same time. And the procedure takes the string and converts it to a language called Pig Latin. So every, sen every word in the sentence has got to be manipulated. So the way has to be added to words that start with a vowel and a y must be added to words that start with a consonant. But you also have to take the first character and put it at the end of the word before you start, before you add a y. So the trick here is to go through each um, set a word in the sentence. But first of all, let's go and write our procedure called Pig Latin, and it receives a string, but it's also going to return that string again in a different format. So in this procedure, Pig Latin, we're going to take S line and we're going to convert it to Pig Latin, and then that VAR means we're going to return it back to the calling statement. So here we have our procedure implemented. So there's different ways of going through a string to find out how many words there are, pulling out the words separately. But I think I would rather do a use a Boolean variable. Now, you know, you'd think, okay, we'll just go through each character of the string, but I'm going to use this one method where I'm going to have a Boolean variable and I'm going to say while be empty. equals false. Now that be empty is going to refer to the um, the line, S line, coming in here. Remember we're working with the, the parameter list. Well that is um, not equal to naught, but I'm going to set be empty to false to start off with. Okay, while it is false I'm going to check it to start off before I do anything. I'm going to go and see if the length of S line is equal to naught. If the length is equal to naught, then we'll set B empty to true. Okay. Else. We're going to do very important to have the else there, where we have begin and end. All of this is going to happen inside begin and end and make note of where you have your while loop ending okay take note of that that's the end of the while loop and this is the end of the procedure right in this else part I'm going to do all the work of copying a word from the sentence and then deleting that word from the sentence yes line yeah I can do that I must make a variable called S word where I'm going to copy from S word from S line sorry copy from S line starting at one to the position of the space in S line minus one. You're all familiar with that. But what if the very last word will not have a space, will it? So as soon as the processor sees this and it's got to the last word, there's going to be a problem because there's no space. Well, that's easily remedied. All you do before you go into the while loop, you go and add a space to the end of S line. Here we go. Added a space. So that when the processor gets to this thing, it can still copy from S line because it will have a space. The last word left space added to it so it'll still work and then I'm going to delete straight away doesn't matter it's not going to hurt anything to delete right here just so I can get ready to copy the next word later but before we do that before we go and use the next word remember this is one word <coughs> we're copying the first word let's say now we've got to go and check if the first character of S word so I'm going to upcase the first character of S word character number one, if it's in the set, and the reason why I upcase is so that I don't have to go and type small letters A, E, I, 
and O and U in this set. This will stop me having to type. Okay. Upcase S word. The first character is in the letter of vowels. Then we're just going to add, we're just going to say S word equals, oops, sorry, the capital letters are on. We'll say S word equals the S word plus the word way must be added. But else, in other words, if it's if the character of the first character is not in the set of vowels, we're going to do something else. We have to go and save that first character into a string. I'm going to put it into a string <coughs> and then delete it. So S first will be equal to S word character number one. Then I'll delete that character from S word. And then I will add, I'll say S word will be equal to S word. I'll add that first character onto the end and the words AY because that is the rules for that. So that's we've, we've changed the word in this if statement. We've changed the word. Okay. Once we've changed the word, we're going to go add it to a new sentence. So I'm going to call it S new. Make a variable called s new. Before the while loop, I'm going to set s new equal to an empty string. So yeah, I'm going to say after I've got the word, I'm going to go put that word into the new string. s new equals s new plus s word, but I must add a space. Not so. You must add a space. So that is what we've got so far. After this while loop, see the while loop is going to do everything. We must remember where we are. End of the while loop. Right. Okay, I don't need to do anything more there. Inside the while loop, I'm adding the word to S new. And also remember that each time the while loop runs, it's going to be checking the length of S line. Because we're busy deleting the word from S line. And luckily, we added a space to end of S line. So this code is not going to crash the program when we get to no spaces at the end. That last word needs to be copied. So if the length is naught, it's fine if S line has been manipulated and is now naught. We find because we're building a new a new line there. S word X word plus there. And before the end of this procedure we'll say S line is now equal to S new. That's a very important statement to make right there. S line equals whatever S new was that was built inside the loop. So this can be quite tricky, but just remember it. You never know, you might get this in a testing exam where you have to get pull out all the different words of a sentence. Right, so we've written our procedure, Pig Latin, and we assume that it's correct. So to actually use it, we know we're going to get input from there, EDT sentence, click the button. So we say s sentence equals to edt sentence dot text. Then to actually use the procedure, we just write the procedure name and put in the word, the s sentence, sorry. This one goes in there. When it goes to the procedure pig Latin, it becomes s line. And then when the procedure pig Latin is finished, s line is now changed. And then we can use it over here. We say edt, the output component, which is there, that one, edtpl dot text equals whatever was changed from this procedure, Pig Latin. So let's try that. Okay, I like pizza. Convert to Pig Latin. Our way. Okay, pizza. Our way. I. I clay it's a pay there we go that's it now you must watch us again if you got stuck um, and then try it by yourself okay